my name is Tiffany. I was one of the contestants on Ramen and Chill, and I'm here to respond to some comments and questions. Yeah, let's hear them. KJ and Tiffany are meant for each other. LMAO, they have similar personalities. I think that's actually a good thing, because obviously I'm someone who's very mellow usually and pretty quiet, and that's what attracted me to KJ, despite saying that I didn't prefer his appearance. And that's why I became more and more interested in him because we have similar mellow, calm personalities. Yeah. Actually, even David's pretty mellow and calm. Yeah. If you have to pick between David and Kilton, what? <laughs> Suddenly. What? I think I would pick David. I guess nobody is saying the obvious reason the dudes are interested in Tiffany. She looks the most Korean and she acts the most like a native stereotype of a Korean girl. And she speaks the best Korean. This could be true. I mean, who knows, right? Because people probably are drawn to more what they're familiar with. So maybe they did pick me because I looked the most like a Korean and spoke the best Korean. I don't think that's a bad thing because obviously first impressions, that's something that they picked based on. But it's kind of funny because one of the panelists thinks that I got friend zone because I spoke the best Korean. So. Minjin and Chan said that. Oh yeah. Yeah, they said they just thought I was kind of like one of their female friends because mm. I was very Korean. So I don't know what what's the what's the best answer here. So you tell me. Even the panelists couldn't pick a lane because they flip flop between that too. So. I'm just going to state my personal opinion. Tiffany is the most basic one in the group, and she's got attitude as she's always commenting on everything she doesn't like about the guys. Mm, I don't really know what that means. Is it? bad to express my thoughts. I mean, I know what I don't like more than I know what I like. So I think that's probably why I was more expressive about what I didn't like. And Tiffany repeatedly asking Tang in different ways if he picked her because she spoke Korean the best, expecting him to say yes after the 50th time. Reminds me of that, of that meme where it says, when your girl keeps asking you the most random questions, babe, would you still love me if I was a worm? <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, Maybe part of it was because I wanted to be sure, like, what is the real reason he picked me? But actually, the backstory is I knew that Erica was interested in Tag, and I actually just wanted to see if maybe he could have a chance to eventually like Erica more, even though there are language barriers or culture barriers. So it was actually scoping how he feels about Erica and not about me. Like, I was not interested in him at all. Like, even the panelists think that I was so in love with him, but Sorry to say, Tang, I was not interested in him at all. The fact that Dan asked if he could ask the person with the other card means he was still interested in Tiffany. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> he was just trying to stir the pot and make drama. Yeah, like Dan. <laughs> Are you and KJ still together? What happened after the show? Everyone wants to know. After the show, we did like text a little bit and we had dinner once together, but like he's very busy and I actually went back to Seattle or I went back to the States like the month after, so we just kind of did our own thing and didn't keep in contact as much after, but yeah, everyone's still friendly with each other, so there's nothing weird going on between either of us. For someone joining a dating show in Korea with Korean men, Tiffany didn't want none of a very Korean man. I don't think most viewers understand what I meant by someone who looks very Korean because I think even in the Instagram post that you guys or DKTV posted asking what very Korean meant, a lot of people understood that, oh, maybe she meant that someone who looked very typical like K-pop guy, so very pale skin, the curtain hair, and just like very, I guess, slim and slender. And for me, that's what I meant by I didn't want that type of very typical Korean look because I personally am more interested in short hair, sporty, so that's very rare, I want to say, in Korean culture. But I mean, my ex was more of a short hair, sporty, active guy, and he's Korean. That's the type of Korean I'm looking for if I have to say Korean. But I mean, it's not really about how I want to say it, but. I just met the typical Korean K-pop look. Yeah, K-pop, stereotypical K-pop look. So that's what I meant. I mean, I can still like be interested in Korean guys, but it doesn't have to be that certain look, obviously. And I also want to say like the BB cream part, I that kind of annoyed me a little bit because 
One thing is like I personally don't use makeup that often on a daily basis. I actually don't even use makeup at all. So I never even used BB cream before. Oh my god, I don't know what the hell that is. So bye. <laughs> I think Tiffany tries to be picked for who she is and not because she looks closest to the Korean beauty standard. Yeah, I mean, obviously I want people to pick me for my personality and who I am, not because I look Korean or I speak Korean. Like, what do you think is like the Korean beauty standard? Is there a thing? I mean, like I said, there's the stereotypical Korean K-pop guy look, and I think even for girls, like the straight eyebrow rather than the arch eyebrow is slim, a brighter complexion than being tan. Why did you choose KJ, like honestly? <laughs> oh, first and foremost, people don't know this, but I had like a whole long night chat with KJ. So we talked from after the dinner party until sunrise and hash things out and that's why I still picked him. But if you're asking me in general if I still like why I liked him uh, like at all, at that stage of my life I just got out of a long-term relationship with a Korean guy that didn't really speak English and I was very kind of bent on oh I want my next kind of guy of interest to speak perfect English or at least like fluent enough English. Yeah so like at that point it was like KJ or Dan but KJ and I, we had more similar personalities and that's kind of why I lean toward KJ. Ramen or udon? Udon. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Soju or wine? Wine. Soba or tipsy? Um, tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> BTS or Blackpink? Blackpink. Cereal fast or milk fast? Cereal first. Cute or sexy? Cute. Uh, humor or muscles? Humor. Financially stable or muscles? <laughs> Financially stable. DKDK TV or Anna? Anna. Skill or power? Uh, skill. Lights on or off? On. Fast or slow? <laughs> Wait. Fast. Dry or wet? <laughs> wet. Big or small? <laughs> Rash guard or bikini? Bikini, yeah. No. Chan Hak or Chan? Chan. Danny or David? David. <laughs> season one or two? Season one because I'm in it. Yeah. <laughs> Ramen and chill or singles in photo? Ramen and chill. <laughs> Thanks for having me and remember to check out season two Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>